we've come out fossil hunting today, so let's head down to the beach and see what we can find. Not only that, but at the end of the video, we've got an absolutely incredible, huge ichthyosaur paddle digit to show you. Can't wait to show you it. We've made it down to the beach now, so let's start having a look for some fossils. First things first, just spotted this. Quite an interesting little fossil, really eroded, but it's the phragma cone from a bellum knight, one of the squid-like creatures. Just picked up this piece. It's got what looks to be some sort of ichthyosaur bone inside the nodule. Hard to tell exactly what it is. Could be some small pieces of jaw. Looks like potentially part of a tooth up here. Something that'll be worth having our dad prepare at a later stage. Absolutely loads of rocks to be looking through, as you can tell. Starting to rain a fair bit. Might mean that some of the fossils are a little bit harder to spot. We're definitely going to keep searching and see what's around here. It'd be nice if there was a big fossil appearing out of some of this clay. Not spotted anything else at all just yet. I suppose that's part of the fun of it though. As we're finding good fossils all the time. Yeah, it's exciting. Well, there we go. There's a nice ammonite fossil. sweet little find. Probably empty. Leave that one there. Spotted a couple of nodules. This one here is a bit of a strange shape but could contain something. And this one right here. That's one ammonite at this side and presumably it's possibly one at the other side. It's hard to tell at the moment, it being covered in clay. However, most likely it's a double ammonite specimen. Really nice find. Also just seen a couple of really nice fossilised plant fossils. Like they're both from the, the same piece. Must have fallen and broken in half. This piece, due to being left out in the sun for so long, has actually cracked and started to come away. Not only that, it's another huge nodule here. That's going to be really exciting to open this one up. We found a fair few fossils there, but let's keep looking and see what else we can find. another ammonite fossil here. Looks to be complete. That should open really easily. We'll open this when we crack open the other nodules as well. I've just spotted what looks to be a pretty nice ammonite fossil. So let's go have a look for it. I'm gonna walk along and see if you can spot where this fossil is. Looks to be a pretty nice one. So it's in shot at the moment. Can you see where it is? Probably a little bit too far away to see it perfectly. So I'll get a little bit closer. Right, I've narrowed it down quite a bit. Any thoughts? One final bit closer. Should be a pretty easy one to spot. The fossil is just there. Looks to be a big Dactyloceros ammonite. Let's see if it's complete or not. Oh, 
Well, it could be. It's hard to tell. It's a bit of a fossil, fossil shell there. We'll have to open it with the tools and see. Not entirely convinced about that one, but we'll be opening it shortly and we'll know for sure. That's all the fossils that we're going to be finding today. Let's crack open the nodules that we've got, see what fossils are inside, if any, and then we'll head home and have a look at that really exciting fossil, which we mentioned earlier on. Here's a look at the fossils we're going to be opening up. Probably open all of them, apart from I'm not sure about this one. Might benefit from some preparation with the finer tools. Let's start opening them up. Let's try one of the others. That one's completely empty. This one again, not entirely sure if it will contain anything. Shop. That was filled with fossilised shells. Wasn't expecting that. Pretty unusual. Let's try this smaller ammonite fossil now. This one will be better to do with the hammer and chisel. It's straight away. Perfect split. It's bigger nodule we found. Didn't know if it would be complete inside, so let's have a look and see. It was complete ammonite. That's a lovely surprise. I really didn't think it was going to end up being that nice at all. Genuinely so pleased by that. That's awesome. It's much bigger than our jolt crack. Let's give it a go and see. Quite soft actually, it's already breaking apart really easily. Oh my goodness, look at that! The edge of a huge Dactyliosaurus ammonite is just exposed. It's got a crack all the way through, but the rest of it's gonna hopefully reveal. Let's see. Maybe we should take this home and finish preparing it with the tools. I think all in all, we can't really complain with our finds there. So pleased with all of them, especially this ammonite. It might not be fully preserved inside. It's always possible. So I'll get our dad to prepare it at some point pretty soon. If it turns out to be complete, I'll show you it in a future video. I'm so pleased by our ammonite finds today. I really wasn't expecting to find this many lovely specimens. Overall, the beach has been well looked over by lots of people, and even still, we're coming away with some really good finds. Now, let's head home and have a look at another really exciting fossil that we can't wait to show you. Every single module here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites, and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. back home now so let's have a look at that incredible fossil. We're going to have a look at an ichthyosaur paddle and compare it to one of our biggest ever and probably the biggest ever paddle digits that we've ever found. I'll show you the paddle first then we'll have a look at the enormous paddle digit. This first paddle here, you might have seen it before, it's quite a recent find. It's a really lovely 
articulated ichthyosaur paddle. Preserved really nicely in this soft shale. Absolutely love this piece. And if you notice along the edge, these paddle digits here have little notches in the side of them. This is about an average size for an ichthyosaur paddle. However, if we compare specifically this type of digit with the notch, let's have a look at the biggest ever paddle digit that we've found. Look at the size of that. It's an absolute monster. When we first found this, we thought it was a vertebra from a really large ichthyosaur. We were in total disbelief when it turned out to actually be a notched paddle digit from a flipper. The size difference is unbelievable. We'll have to keep looking for more of this beast and hope that some more of it turns up. Even if it doesn't, it's absolutely over the moon with this incredibly big paddle digit. What a surreal find. It was preserved with some shale over the top of it. Now my dad has removed all of the shale carefully with a variety of tools and we've ended up with just this nice big individual bone. Really, really hoping we find some more of this. And there we have it. An absolutely incredible marine reptile piece which we are over the moon with. Not only did we find that incredible ammonite today, or potentially incredible ammonite, fingers crossed, but we've also got to see our biggest paddle ditches ever. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.